Okay, today I went and got this Nest and Yale Walk. Um, you can enter a code and there's several codes and if you have a camera, you can you know, tell people and, uh, what it is and they can buzz themselves in or you can do it remotely and that's why I got it through the Nest app. Through the app, you can remotely lock and be notified if your door is unlocked or locked while you're away. And so we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. All right, here's everything that came in the box. You need this Nest Connect to make the Wi-Fi run through the it's touch screen, so if you want to be able to lock it remotely, you got to put this near it. And so it says to how to do that. You add it on and remotely connect it. And then these are all the pieces. It comes with batteries, surprisingly. One of the few things I bought recently that comes with batteries. And so we have some instructions there too. So we're going to go replace our old lock. So I plugged in and connected this Nest Connect. And now we're going to go ahead and take this uh, older uh, unit off. And this is a uh, touch screen. Huh? It wasn't, uh, it wasn't remote, so you just touched it and had to do it yourself manually. Couldn't do it remotely. And that's the point we're doing uh, with this new one we have here. So I'll take this off and be right back. All right, well, I went ahead and put this guy on here. And before I tighten these guys up here, I'm gonna go ahead and put it together so that, uh, you know, if I'm, it needs to wiggle a little, it can while I'm putting it together. The, ne the next step here is to put this uh, digital plate on and then feed the wire through this Guy here and this is the mounting bracket so you have to take these little guys here and then you gotta put some screws in here to make the two adhere to each other all right that next stop was to put these screws on you want to make sure that you adjust it right so I'm gonna loosen it up and move it a little bit over but this uh, screws into the back side of this all right we've attached the wire and we've gone ahead and run the cable behind these little hooks now we're gonna just put it in place feed it through the little this thing through the hole there and then attach those two screws, attach the batteries, and we should be good. All right, one thing I'll point out when putting this on, you wanna kinda of tilt it from the bottom here to hook onto these little under things and then pop it up. And then you gotta hit those two little screws in there. Now it's time to put the battery in, pop it on. It's ready to set up. Gotta make sure it works, right? So it's working fine. All right, to start, you just press the yell logo and then you put in your, your key, pin, whatever you want, and then close the door and then it says, hit the check. I'm gonna have to start over. Next, make sure the door is closed. Then press the check to continue. Checking the lock. The deadbolt is stuck. Check your installation and try again. This again. Press the Yale logo to finish installing your lock. Next, make sure the door checking the lock. Installation is complete and your lock is ready to be added to your Nest account. Great, we'll go ahead and add that now. So when I went to add the uh device to Nest, uh, there was no indication where the code was, but so you gotta pop this open. You can scan that code or enter this nine digit code here. That's the way to do it. All right, I just wanna finish up this video uh, by showing how you can lock and uh, unlock just by, if you're near it. So you can do that, uh, you know, of course, remotely through the uh, Nest app uh, on your phone. And then, uh, you know, you can just hold down a lock button or unlock button. It's pretty self-explanatory, but if you're just here and you want to lock it, so I've just oh, closed the door. I just hit that and it locks. So you can see if I want to unlock it, I'll have to enter my code. I hit the yell, then I'll have to enter my code, whatever numbers, however you have them. Then hit the check and then it unlocks. So as always, if you have any questions, please subscribe. Sorry, please subscribe and uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Thanks.